A Mayor Emanuel is now proposing a new location for the Lucas Museum of Narrative Art, otherwise known to most of us as the Star Wars <laughs> Museum, and also calls for a demolition of the old McCormick Place. Uh, good idea? Good idea for the museum to be here. I'm not sure the funding formula that's being proposed by the mayor is the right way to go. You know, there's a lot going on in philanthropy right now, public-private partnerships, and I'd like to see it be a little bit more equitable. I mean, thinking of a 50-year extension on the taxes that exist to cover this, you know, renovation, demolition, proposed museum, um, kind of takes my breath away. It's not only our children, but our grandchildren that would be, you know, paying for this. And how far out in the future can you go? Um, we were joking in the green room, you know, 50 years from now, I'll be dead. And, you know, the, you know there's two things certain, death and taxes, but really should we be parlaying that on two generations in the future? Of course, Mayor Emanuel, who calls this a win-win-win, um, says that the Chicagoans will not have to pay higher taxes for this particular project. How many times have we heard that before? <laughs> I mean, really, it, it, you're extending taxes that were promised, you know, to sunset at some point. The city has so many problems right now with crime and, and underfunded pensions. Um, why we are focusing so heavily on bringing a museum that, by the way, there's a question of really how much Star Wars memorabilia is even going to be in there. Mm -hmm. It's really George Lucas's art collection. Um, it just seems like a person with clout is getting, you know, well, at I, the front of the line. I would say the art scene in Chicago is an internationally renowned civic strength. And our cultural institutions attract talent, tourists, and investment to the city. They create jobs. The construction alone would create thousands of jobs, and once the museum is established, it would support at least 350 full-time jobs. Uh, this is a revenue generator for the city, and as someone who cares about culture and a proud Chicago, and I agree with Lisa, I'm glad Chicago was accepted as the site. And speaking of sites, uh, this location, uh, I first heard about uh, the McCormick Place location a year ago, and I didn't hear about it from the mayor or Melody Hobson. I heard about it from one of the leading lakefront preservationists who viewed this demolition as a win-win for both the Lucas Museum and people who advocate to protect our lakefront. So I would say I don't think there will be a legal challenge from Friends of the Parks or Open Lands, but I do think there's a lot of sensitivity around the finances and right. how the finances would work. And I think the mayor would say uh, the, the tax burden would be passed along to tourists because a lot of the, the, the taxes would apply to hotels and for restaurants and car rentals at the airport. But the devil is in the details, right. and we're not just talking about uh, continuing those taxes. We're also talking about borrowing, from what I read in the Chicago Tribune, $1.2 billion. <laughs> right, and hoping that the donation made by George and Melody would cover the servicing, the finance servicing on that. And just to be clear, Melody Hobson is George Lucas's wife. Right. We should clarify right. that. And they would, right. Right, and they would make that donation, which is wonderful. But I think it's unequitable right now. And I do agree. I love the, that we're such a cultural hub in, the, in this country and in the world and that the arts are here. But there's better public-private partnerships that could be explored other than a 50-year extension on the taxes that I'm, exist. I'm from, I'm from Bronzeville, so I can't wait to have a Lucas <laughs> Museum and an Obama <laughs> presidential I'm library. I'm looking so. for both, too. Yeah. <laughs> Should we give the, the mayor some credit for thinking big, Kristen, here? I mean, sure. I, I, I think he thinks big in a lot of ways. We're redoing Navy Pier. He's reworking the riverfront. Um, but I just, I can't, oh, you know, I am a calculator girl. I, I'm always bringing out my calculator. We, we have all these stories about families leaving the city, middle class black families, millionaires. I mean, you can say bye bye, but they are the engine of the city because people don't want to continue to have this property tax burden. And so I just, you know, I think we should be focusing on what we can afford and not so many bells and whistles right now.